more and more people are choosing to scale down on square meters. And that got us thinking. What would it take for a family of four to live comfortably in a 30 square meter home? I'm Katie, and uh, we're standing outside of a 30 square meter house that we built up in our studio in Elmholt, Sweden, to test how small is too small for a family of four. Two adults, two kids. Come on in, I'll show you some tips. One of the things that happens uh, quite often in any home uh, is that surfaces become spots for clutter. But in a really small home, that can quickly be become a problem. So uh, one of the most important things you can do is uh, make sure that no space goes unwasted. Uh, so for example here, we've put these walls to use by putting up uh, uh, rails and ledges. Gives you an easy place to hang this up instead of lay it on the table for when you come inside. Uh, even the side of a wardrobe can become a storage spot with the addition of a magnetic rail that is the perfect place to have your keys. So even the back of doors can become storage with the addition of some uh, smart magnetic strips. Countertops can quickly become cluttered uh, in a small space, so we made this one smart by putting a magnetic rail up for the knives on the backsplash and even adding, adding a few hooks here for the stuff you use every day and want to quickly be able to reach. Another space that we like uh, a lot is this one. And one of the things uh, that's super important in a small space is to think about everything that's on the floor adds to the feeling of smallness. So as much as you can get up and off the floor, the better. Um, that's why we have these uh, step stools up on hooks on the wall. Uh, and we've even managed to make room in this spot for a, a really lovely plant display by using, using the height and uh, uh, clear glass shelves from our uh, wardrobe range, actually. Here again, uh, rails are our best friend. Uh, by adding some hooks, you get storage for things that might otherwise be on a table or even on the floor. Um, and even a nice ledge for storing a laptop. Here is a really awkward space. There's, there's not enough room for a whole nother cabinet. What do you do with this? Uh, we don't want it to go to waste. So we've added this, uh, this shoe cabinet is what it actually is, but we're using it as a place for recycling newspapers, batteries, light bulbs, those sort of things. Don't forget about over the door. Uh, the addition of some hooks makes this door actually now functional instead of just uh, open close. And behind. We've hidden even more storage. Uh, these rails and hooks are a perfect place to store semi-dirty clothes or maybe even an outfit for the next day. And then here, this is a, a little tight little space that we don't want it to go to waste, so we added some hooks for jewelry and even a hook for an extra drying rack for the family to use when they want to dry some clothes in the living room. So uh, that's the tips for the day. Remember, uh, no space goes unwasted if you use your wall smartly and uh, take advantage of every little odd place.